Maybe blue. Jeremy? I do. What would you do if I did? You would not eat that thing. You don't think so? You would sushi that right now. Well, here we go. Another day. Will's got a shotgun again. It could get interesting. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. The making of a, a Gajo cool promotional video. video. Here we go. Here, here's one for your Gajo wife. Too. Here's one for your wife. Thank you. I don't like portrait. I think it looks okay. stupid. That's fine. I already took one of portrait. I know you like portraits. That's a video. Right, Hold then. on. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> To hold the god. That's a good That's fish. A heavy fish. That's man. a good fish. Man. Where are you? Over here, Willis. This is what oh, the show. Oh, you're over there. Oh, come, on, come on, come on, come on. I've always been snagging the same spot. Got it? There we go. You're the man. Another piece of wood, dude. Tree pounders, two tree pounders oh, in a row. Another one. I'm removing structure like a champion. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Pretty bad, man. It's okay. You'll be fine. He came out of the bathroom yesterday and he goes, I don't want to talk about it. I go, what happened? He goes, somehow my finger got caught in the door. E. I said, Your finger got caught in the door just somehow? What does he mean? So he opened a pack of Advil, one fell on the floor. He says, It'll be all right. I guess one's gonna be enough. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I think in sports we call that a stinger. <laughs> I woke up this morning with my nose swelling, bruising, chafing, itching, scratching. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. What do you mean, about your finger? You think it's broken? I don't want to talk about it. Let's not talk about my finger. Why are you such okay. a look on all these fish? Finding every piece of wood in here. Because you're thinking they're on the bank instead of that. I think you mentioned it. And we fixed that bank. Okay, now yeah. do I go right or left? Yeah. I'd hit this stretch right up here. Yeah, why not? That little point. Oh, uh, no, it's not. It's not the first part. Uh huh. Uh huh. You want to watch out? Come on. Uh. How's he supposed to film? What happened? He got off. Why don't you get him in, man, and worry about the film? So worried about your it is, you lost that fish. It is a deep bank. Well, he couldn't get a view of... What are you saying there, Chance? There it is. Oh, yeah, you put that on camera. <laughs> Smoking them. Smoking them on the new Smoking Gajo them. tube. We're not supposed to talk. This is B-roll. Oh no, I think we can talk. You can tell me you can talk. It's right, a good well, I'm gonna film a show. It's What's a up, one. guys? Smallmouth Crush doing a little video shoot with Gajo Bates, and you got a monster. Monster. Jeez, that dude. is a stud. That's a what? lobster. Wow. The Gajo tube. So you wondered where those fish Don't the boat flip were. him. I, I know, told can, you, can you to get, come to this bank. Can you get the net? <laughs> you can handle it. We're not no, using I'm net. Not, I'm getting a net. No I'm nets. getting a net. This is I ridiculous. I am not this fish. Oh, baby, come to me. Wow. Look at that. That is that's that is a Jane. Can you take a picture for my wife? <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're funny. Let me get a picture of this guy. Right. Hey, can you, hey, take, can a you take a picture for, for my wife? Please? <laughs> Travis? Yeah. Thanks, man. Here. Take a picture for my wife. <laughs> oh, really? really? Is it for your wife or is it because you want to uh, Instagram it? Uh, for likes, comment. On do, Instagram do a for portrait. Likes. Let me just uh, you got it yeah. Hold it up a little higher. Hold Red on. Child. Tiny child, Rick. We're wearing the same damn hat, too. This is ridiculous. No, I'm not. I didn't have a small mouth. I have a hat. I, I have the same hat as you. Dude, I mean, this is what you do for small mouth crush. <sighs> a little lower. That's so crazy. They pull off this flat and come over here. That's not confirmed. That was a random fish. You had a big one on. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
fish in like two minutes. <laughs> Fine. First three casts. Fine. Plus I got a piece of wood. Fine. This bank's looking good. Fine. <laughs> Seems like a healthy bank. I'm thinking you so, made the right call. Real that. quick, guys. There it is. Oh, not there. It's another snake. As he was going to say, I can't keep popping beats off the of the violence in his pop is extraordinary. <laughs> don't don't break it. Oh, oh no. Broke way oh, no. here. Oh no. This oh. is what's frustrating. So there's a shallow flat that we caught him with Roland actually yesterday. You really went on a tear. And uh, and so we decided to go back there this morning, but we come to realize because we fished that spot last year, mm -hmm. you and I filmed uh, no, a two Ned years rig ago. video chartreuse versus redhead and it seems like that shallow spot is a late day spot it's been that way now for a couple years solar powered and we never could figure out where those fish go and we may be unlocking the mystery this is about an eight foot bank that's one to three foot one to deep. three feet and we're on an eight foot bank just adjacent to that mm -hmm. so at night they probably pull off wait for that rock to warm up the bait to get active mm -hmm. and then roll out there and feed up so I guess we'll catch a few more, hopefully. I'm hoping. Gajo tubes are on. Yeah, the new Gajo tube. Two which, and a half inch. Which may or may not be out by the time this video comes out. I don't look for it. Yeah, yeah, I think he's remaking the mold. It totally is a cool deal. It's got 18 strands as opposed to the standard tube. It's really soft. I've used these two weeks ago when I was up here and I was thoroughly impressed. It's gonna definitely be part of my arsenal moving forward. Mm -hmm. It is legit. I promise you, it will all produce other tubes on the market. And I love a lot of good, there's a lot of good tubes, don't get me wrong. But this thing is a little special and I'm gonna use it quite a bit this year. It's a finesse tube. Make use it, no bones use it to my it. advantage. I mean, so I gotta retie tube. now all, right. all this retie. stuff. I'll milk this, I'll milk this spot for all it's worth. I got your line. Go back there by that swim platform and see that anything swim. Oh man, just go ahead. Set the hook. I shared a bed with Rowan yesterday while Travis and I sword fought with our odds. I swear to God, that's what happened. It sounds weird, but it's true. <laughs> so we shared a bed fish. I went to set the hook after Rowan got snagged and broke off, and I set the hook into Travis's rod. So it's true, I shared a bed yeah, that's fish. True. Roland Martin. I played sword. Sword fought with Travis with rods. Strange but true. He's funny too. He is very funny. I, that was unexpected, honestly. Yeah. Had you met him before? No. Oh, wow. No, I used to fish out of his marina like once a week when I lived in Florida, but. So Travis was like, you got to watch your language because we don't know. And he's right out of oh, the game. He rips it. Like the, he's ripping it. And he's talking about bodily farts. He talked about his best fart ever, where he had the two guys in the truck pull over and freaking throw up. <laughs> oh, yeah. He said the one guy was driving, he goes, he cracked the window a little bit. So, like, you know, if you're smoking a cig and you crack the window, the, it's coming right that way. Mm -hmm. So then he got, and he started to, like, cough and, and gag. And then finally he pulled over, and both dudes with Roland got out and threw up. That's awesome. He said, that's my best fart ever. <laughs> that's how he characterized He goes, guys, I want to tell you about my best fart ever. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. What's the trolling motor doing? It's on spot lock. Hello. Keep it going down this bank. Let's cover some water. You want me to fish and run this boat? So asking a lot. Hey Travis, you're in my way. Sorry. Amber can't see me. Now you understand the trials and tribulations. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Whoa! <laughs> covered in hot. Clear. What in the heck was that? <laughs> Nice rock bass, man. Nice rock Should bass. Should I get the net for that one, too? Get the net, Travis. Apparently, if you twirl a rock bass 20 times... Yeah, we learned that trick. We huh? learned that trick, but I'm not going to do it to this no, little fella. let poor guy go, okay, man. Go. Be, be, be happy. I'm shaking. I'm actually working this tube more like a Ned rig, believe it or not, instead of your standard drag. Because I want to give those fish just a different look. I mean, there's a bunch of different retrieves we can do. I can cast over your line. <laughs> I can standard. let the tube that's pretty, fall. That's pretty standard. And then I'm just going to move the tube with the rod tip, picking up slack. I'm using a seven foot medium. You're probably using something similar. Yep. Uh, this is a Legend Extreme, the, the brand new one. 
Um, super impressed with it, guys. I thought my old Legend Extremes, the green ones, were the deal. No, this, this is the deal. You let me throw it a few times this morning. That's super light. It is a nice, super light rod. Yep. Uh, it feels great. Feels good in my hands. I'm using Cortland Braid, of course, eight pound high vis with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. I have an eighth ounce tube head in, in here. Me too. Short shank, which is perfect for this application. Hand poured. Hand poured with a mustad. Oh, oh I had him. Got him. Oh, it's coming in hot. Woo! So I am util utilizing my 360 right now as well. I have it at a 40 foot range and I can see some of the isolated rock. See that isolated rock in that Dude, ditch right that's right out and straight? Yep. So if somebody took the time to cast 40 feet this way, you'd be coming across some excellent structure. A little to the left right through here. Let me, see I'm that was too far, far, Eric. That was too far. No, I'm trying to work into it. The structure's right here. Okay, I got it. You don't tell me where to cast. I'll tell you where it is, and you will listen. I can see it. And you can thank me for that bite you're going to get in moments. Hit that dish. Hit that dish. Come on, Travis. Hit that dish. You cast way too far. I. You tell me not to cast far, and you sing one out there 80 foot. Because I was going to give you the ditch. You just cast it in my ditch. You took the whole line. The ditch is over here. Don't be a bitch about the ditch. You're a ditch witch. Come on, man. Be ready. I am, I this am. is important. Bear down. Bear down. You have to concentrate. I'm trying. You have to be one with the tube. You actually have to imagine yourself being the tube, crawling over the rocks, acting like a crayfish, pausing, stopping, and skirting, trying to get away from a smallmouth. Okay, watch. There's one looking at it. Pop, pop. He did an evasive action. I got bit like that yesterday several times. Be dead sticking, imagining a smallie down there. Yeah, you know, I know we're in a deeper ditch, but on the bank, our yeah. bites have been coming at two feet from that bank. Right. See, you know where I thought there'd be one right there. Oh, yeah, right there, right there. Pay close attention. Like, oh, that sounded good. <laughs> that sounded good. <laughs> I'm out. Okay, are you hung? Yes, and thank you. It's the same stuff. <laughs> so you want me to go in there is what you're saying. I mean, we're running short on tools. That's it. You had to skip there. No way. Ah, that's awesome! <laughs> oh, it is not the target species, though, but that's cool. <laughs> you Man. get in there without getting my trolling motor rubbed up on the bottom. That's a lot of ass. And I'll get this little guy in. I think I'm on the rope. This is a problem. I'm glad I got all slammed up on that. Because I'm in a rope. That's going to be a problem, and it's under the water. The water. Just bend down and pick the rope up. I'll oh. get you over it. I got, I have a fire. But the problem is, where the tube is under the water, I need to I'll do it. arms like yours. Okay, could you power pull down? You gotta go back now. Manson has very long arms. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's hard to me, dude. Or being you? Yeah. What do you mean? I'm always taking care of people. I'm always trying to get snags <laughs> out. I'm trying to retie. Show you where baits were. I mean, here, let me show me put that jig. That uh. What kind on. of grown man comes up to smallmouth country without their own tube inserts? <laughs> grown man. It's smooth bottom, and look where that. I know it's it's a hard edge. That's ex that's extraordinary. That's where the camera shot. That's very cool. All right. They should be throwing that. Thing. I'm going to show you guys what we're fishing here. I booked up, Travis. Yeah, I'm going to show you what we're looking at here on the 360. So you can see, when we talk about locating areas for smallmouth, defined edges. And as you can see here, this is all smooth surface, and then you have 
your chunk rock out here and it's like kind of a ditch moving down this bank and we, we normally catch them when the sun comes up off of this island and there's a shallow flat so now we're trying to locate where these these big ones go that's a rock bass and we catch rock bass <laughs> rock, bass, rock bass are using the rock they like transition they do where there's rock bass there's smalling got them there we go you found them dude that's a stud ain't it it is a stud you found the big ones oh dude that's awesome you found where the big ones hang oh it's a net job They were on this transition. They were. You called it. I cast right to the edge of that transition. And that's when that fish bit. He was right there, right where the smooth rock meets that bar. And you get rewarded with a really tremendous looking smallmouth. This is awesome. I'm netting this fish because that's just what I do. Oh, is there a musky below here? Yeah, what was that? That was a musky. That looked like a musky or another big smallmouth with my saw figure below this bass. You can't tell the difference between a musky and another smallmouth. Well, I was looking at the fish getting in the net and I just saw an object below it. Was that a big smallie following his brother? This is a thick fish. Wow. Another one on the gajo tube with a, with a net head insert. That, and that's the cool part to me is that in a pinch, if you don't have a tube insert, look, you can see that shroom head coming out of that. How cool is that? That fish really did the job. Man, wow. Got your paints, man. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Will Clute, for another great design. All right, make sure you pop that line tie through there and you're ready to fire back out there and get it going. Got him. Good one, Trav? Nah. Huh? Yeah. No. I mean, it's good. He looks like he's bulldogging good. This rod handles nice. He's not that good. Okay. You liking it? Yeah. Gajo too, man. Look, that fish is ready to spawn. Sure is. If I was in a tournament, yeah, I'd probably okay. face my boat into the current. Double, double, daily double. There's nothing to write home about, but it's a daily double. Did you get yours? Look at that, man. There you go. Oh, beauty, Trav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a picture. That's that's our, that's part of our 20 pound bag, maybe? No? No, that's a three and a half. Okay, guys, that's a three and a half. Yesterday, I was looking at those and they were what, five? According to Roland Martin, not me. <laughs> what? I can tell people that he over exaggerates fish. Smallmouth. He's not a smallmouth guy. And that's fair. Go, Travis. Go, Travis. There's Go, a, Travis. There's a bunch of gnats in this tree. Well, push the trolling motor. That's how you work things. What do you got, a walleye? Put him uh, in the well, he's gonna go. Uh, even walleyes like the two. Is he good for the prime? Pan? Nah, he's nah. a slim okay. guy. He's a slim guy. All right, multi-species award. Travis, are we gonna fish under this tree all day? You just might have to. Okay. You just might have to suck it up. I didn't notice the net. <laughs> oh, <it's> slamming it. <laughs> I can't get a good hook set under this tree. I don't know, it's a, it's a very interesting position to fish in. Go ahead, man, do your thing. Oh, it's getting cray-cray. It is. Gajo tube. I'm going to skip one like Travis did. Let's see if I can get right back in that hole. Oh, fired up the school, apparently. I'm in. What a skip. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, what have you done? Because you took What have you done, man? man? Settle down. Settle down. Don't get crazy. That's how people lose an eye. Just watch out. Just watch out? Of course, with that two-handed cast, most of us would duck. 
Did I say wood duck? You said wood duck. <laughs> I'm fixing to set the hook real soon. I hope you do, man. I hope you get him. <sighs> Take a breather, pal. Take a breather. Get a little, you got a little insane there for a minute. On a walleye. Great movie to watch. It's called Captain Fantastic, Travis. Oh, well, you, you are this guy. Captain They're all run Fantastic. by the Freemasons. Dude, Freemasons? Another walleye. Hey, hey, be careful with that walleye. <laughs> Take that! What? We gotta We're, start. We got a walleye. walleye. We got a walleye burger. Going. We're gonna start keeping these walleyes. This okay. Do you want this one or no? Yes, I want to eat it. You want to eat that one? Yes, that's a nice size walleye to eat. Okay. He's a he's flipping around like a crazy walleye. He's now becoming a walleye I don't burger. I catch walleyes right now, dude. Here, these are all ripped up, Will. I have a whole bag right here, Travis. You called me Will. I'll call you what I want. To call you. Oh, I'm saving that one. Will. Damn it, Will. Zell Roland. What's wrong with that guy this morning? It's just walleyes, dude. Yeah, I still want to get one just in your face video. Okay. It'll take five minutes. Yeah. Tell me your top three spots where you like to throw tubes, water temperature, or if it's a year-round bait. You know Got it. I mean? Travis will be doing that one. Travis, you'll join me. Yeah, you guys can both sit there. Oh, you dickweed. Dickweed. Scud. Got him. Sounding good. Don't move all the way to camera in there. What do you mean? You're doing good. Land him while you're in the water. There's plenty of room outside the boat, pal. I mean, he's okay. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Click it. Oh. You're right there, bro. Another stud. This is why it pays to expand your area. Go ahead, go back. You got top water action going on up there too. No way. Get that one in, trap. Beautiful fish. There we go. Yeah, there's their shad in there and their buster. Oh, wow. Think we can get a top water bike going? If I had one rigged up, I would throw it. He's just a small guy. Look at that tube all the way up the line. Great, great. Oh, anyway. oh ho, 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 ho. that was a smallie. What do you got? Like small, small top waters at all? I had top waters, yeah. I mean, let's let's try it. We've never caught a top. I've never caught a top water fish up here. Maybe not. Ooh, walleye, the walleye. How big? Dinner for Travis. Man, that's 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 too small. Okay, too small. You're going back. I'm liking this little area though. Oh yeah. I've never fished here before. That's crazy. How about that? Oh, I'll make it into my rotation now. No, but I mean that's very interesting. I mean, there's been several good ones coming off this thing. Milk that hole for all its worth. We overstayed our welcome. I believe so. Gotta get going. I mean, multiple small burgers. But there was one more left. Whoa! 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 Is that as big as I think? Yeah. Just a three and a half. It might be four. Sure seems bigger. Put the poles down all the way. I did. I mean, I'm pretty good, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty good, bro. They're definitely close to the bank.
Whoa! Nice. Look at that. Oh, look what he spit there, up. Dude. Look what he's hold on, what? Yeah, so listen. Tubes are fun. Look at that. What do you spit up? I don't know, something crazy. A, looks like a bluegill. Maybe bluegill. Jeremy? I do. What would you do if I did? You would not eat that thing. You don't think so? You would sushi that right now. Oh, that's disgusting! Oh, that's... <laughs> Man, we found some giants here. Wow, dude. And they're eating those tasty little bluegills. That tasted more like a bluegill than a <laughs> shad. Because I know what a shad tastes like, and that definitely tasted more like a bluegill. And I'm fine with that because you gotta be one with the fish, man. Do I dare do it? Not as big as I thought, just a extremely strong smallmouth. Wow! Woo! I think we got enough tube fish, Travis. Alright. What do you think? Let me do a quick close. I cannot believe you ate that bluegill. That was amazing. That was incredible. All right, we're gonna wrap this video up because we got a little top water action and we might we want to switch things up. Obviously, tubes are producing some fish, some snags for Eric. Uh-huh. And, um, and Travis. I didn't get hung up once, man. Oh, uh, buddy, I got this. You're gonna video. go blow up the spot? Now? I got a video evidence. You're gonna go blow up the spot. No, the spot down there where there's No, the spot's right here. No, we we cleared this hole out. Let me know in the comments what you think. So I would suggest as soon... Let me know in the comments if you think Travis is a dick. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gajo.com, as soon as these tubes become available, uh, he'll have them. He's remaking the molds. He's remaking the molds right now. Yep. Not to change the tubes, but to make it easier for him to get the tubes out of the mold. Yes, absolutely. And like I said, I'm going to be using these moving forward for sure there's gonna be def definitely some applications I can see these working this is a true finesse tube man this it really is not is. your mega tube this is not a three and a half inch tube it's not a three inch tube it reminds me of nothing yeah. and kids at home don't don't put weird foreign bait fish in your mouth okay that was a good catch yeah. man I can't believe you did that man. I'm good like that and as always guys until next time we'll see you on the water <laughs> yeah, I'm good like that <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.